We have not had anything to prove that this that the trophy is viable, that it is ecologically friendly. We have not had anything. The reported decision has been applauded by various environmentalists who have been fighting a vigorous campaign against the destruction of woodland and other coastal habitats to make room for biofuel crops citing research which has cast drought on the supposed benefits of Jatropha as a green alternative to fossil fuels. Scientific studies now recommend growing Jatropha only as a hedge or living fence. Until we have had sufficient scientific evidence that the development of Jatropha is going to be sustainable, it is going to be economically beneficial to this country, that it will not damage our environment, that it will not damage our wildlife, we will not issue that license. Even before NEMA's decision, a company planning to grow oilseed crops on 28,000 hectares of the Tana Delta pulled out after citing concerns over environmental impacts and long-term climatic change effects. The company eventually decided to relocate to another country to invest in the plant. The chairman of NEMA, Francis Ole Caparo, said that the license had been awarded in spite of mounting scientific evidence which has exposed the claims made for Jatropha as false. You find that the, some of the institutions that are fighting the growing of, or, or production of biofuels in this country, because the issue is not the plant, there is no issue with the, with, with the, with the Jatropha tree, because if you, Jatropha is a tree, it's a plant. If you have a problem with a plant, a tree, you have a problem with God. Jatropha carcass is a small tree or shrub with smooth grey bark, which exudes whitish coloured watery latex when cut. The oil produced from its fruit is used as an alternative to diesel oil and is also being used extensively for making soap in some countries. Also, the oil is used as an illuminant in lamps as it burns without emitting smoke and other hazardous gases. It is also used as fuel in place of or along kerosene and stoves. It also has other medicinal benefits such as antibiotic properties which is believed to have anti-cancerous properties. The future of the plant remains oblique even as the authority and the farmers are at limbo to quell the controversy. The Tana Delta which is the main yard for such plantation, has long provided local communities with food and livelihoods. Its value to the nation includes ecosystem services such as water storage, shoreline protection and marine life spawning grounds. It also has huge tourism potential, but as demand for land to grow commodity crops has increased globally, the Tana Delta has become the focus of interest for local and international speculators and even investors. Eventually, the government has decided to hold the planting of the biofuel crop Jetrofa within the coastal region of Kenya, stating that the proposed plantations would do irreparable damage to coastal important bad areas, including the Tana Delta and Dakata woodlands.